today's video, I'm going to show you how, how to get this pretty pink look for spring using the Wet n Wild Thrift Store Chic Palette. So let's get started. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Primer in white to prime as usual, distributing it evenly on my lid from brow bone to lid and spreading it out with my finger. Next, I'm taking the palette and I'm taking my Sigma E40 and this light pink color, it's a matte color, and I'm gonna use that in the transition area, um, going from inner corner to outer corner as per usual. Next, I'm taking this highlight color. It's a shimmery highlight color on this flat, so, uh, I believe it's Coastal Scents brush, and I'm gonna use that on the brow bone, just making sure to get coverage and to highlight. Uh, you can use a matte cream or a matte white color for this purpose, but I just wanted to use the one that was in the palette, and it is a very pigmented and beautiful color. Now I'm just going to go in with the Sigma E40 and blend those two colors together, the highlight and the transition color. Taking my eBay pencil brush and this light pink shimmer color, I am going to go into the crease with this color. We're going to do a soft cut crease for this look, so I'm staying kind of above my natural crease. And I'm just gonna take this in, not all the way to the inner corner, but about three fourths into the eyelid. Once I have the amount of color I want, I'm gonna take a Sigma E25 and I'm gonna blend that color out. But I'm going to blend above my crease not below because I want to keep that sharp for my soft cut crease. Now I'm going to take this kind of a lilac purple shimmer color on the pencil brush and use that to deepen up the outer corner a bit. It's not going to do make a huge difference but I just wanted to use that color and it does make a subtle difference. And I'm going to take the same color and use the Sigma E25 once again. Then I'm going to go in with the Sigma E40 and blend all those colors out to make sure it's a nice and blended soft look. Taking this Evelyn Iona eyeshadow base that I got in my Ipsy bag, I am going to carve out my cut crease. Using this base will achieve cleaning up to make sure you have a sharp cut crease, even though it's still gonna be soft and it's not gonna be perfect, but it's also gonna create a nice clean base for the color that you're gonna put on your lid, which I will show you. I actually put two colors, but I start off with just one of the colors from the palette. Taking this nice pinky uh, light champagne pink color, I am going to place that on the lid on the area where I put the base. Just making sure to stay specifically on that base and you're just going to want to pack that on. Now I'm going to take the same pink colors that I used, the pink and the purple color, lilac color, and I'm going to carve out that crease a little bit more just for more precision. And then I'm going to go in and blend with the Sigma E40 once more.
taking a mixture of the light pink and the darker pink in the palette. I'm going to use both those colors on the lower lash line and just make sure that they're blended out enough. Now I'm going to take the highlight color, the lightest one that I used on my brow bone, and I'm going to use that in the inner tear duct. Taking that lilac purple color, I'm going to use that on the outer corner of the lower lash line with a small detail brush. Now I'm going to use my usual products for the cleanup, which include the e.l.f. moisturizing foundation stick in nude, I believe, and my Sonia Kashuk concealer brush. And it's just going to clean the look up and make a sharp edge and give it a more polished look. I first took this color on my fingertip, but then I go in with the brush and pack it on to the lid right on top of that lighter shimmer color just to give it a little bit more pop. I went off camera and I used my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, my e.l.f. Liquid Liner, and my L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner. And once I'm done using those, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful pink spring look. I really love the way it came out. And thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.